We are now in the month of May 2024. Here what you get in the mail from Donald Trump. Around the same time when he was selling the Bible, shoes, filing 60 lawsuits against the government trying to steal the election. The main reason I wanted to show you what I got in the mail is because it raises some questions. President Donald J. Trump, 2024, NRC pledge of support. And you can tell that the post office did not even stamp the letter. Say non-profit organization. Turn the envelope on its back. It says Republican National Committee, 310 1st Street, Southeast Washington, D.C. You open the envelope, there is a non-stamped envelope where you are supposed to put your donation and send it to the Republican National Committee in Topeka, Kansas. You have to pay for the stamp. Of course, I care about paying for the stamp, which is about 50 cents, because I work for a living. I did not steal money from other people like he did. I did not live my life a con man. So I am the last one who ever going to donate money for Trump or Biden. When Obama was the president, at least I trusted that he is a normal human being. When he was in the office for eight years, I never listened to his speeches. I just trusted this guy is going to do a good job. And I just went away, minding my own business. But when George Bush, Clinton, and Trump were in the office, I have to listen to stupid stuff that they did. Killing people, waging wars, scandals. Here is another note in that letter. Did you complete the pledge of support? Did you make a personal check payable to RNC? Did you sign the check? Thank you for your continued support. Then let us open the letter and see what you get. There is no date. It says Wednesday morning. Suppose he is doing a casual letter. That have to be Donald Trump telling people how to write a letter. President Donald J. Trump, Wednesday morning. Dear fellow patriots, I want you to stand with me and the Republican National Committee. If Republicans are to win, what I believe is the most important election in the history of our country. I thought the same way when Al Gore was running against George Bush. Al Gore was a sleazebag when he was working under Clinton. And he was almost intoxicated during his entire campaign. But having George W. Bush was a devastating thing for the country. And George W. Bush was a criminal. Now we are back again to Trump and Biden. Biden is a walking dead man and Trump is a crook. So the idea that this is the most important election in the history of our country, this is his own opinion. This is Trump. The next paragraph. At stake this November is nothing less than our democracy. Can you believe it? Trump is talking about our democracy. This thug that used the White House as a private business to make money and enrich his own family to commit crimes is talking about democracy. He is bragging about being a dictator, has his favorite dictator in Egypt, and now he is talking about democracy, our democracy. You cannot trust this man. Our national heritage, democracy, and the way of life are important to him. Then you have an underlying statement. The reason, there is no reason to underline it, but let us see what Trump underlines. Which is why I am asking patriots like you to join me in supporting the RNC this critical presidential election year. So the reason I think that he can convince me to support him is that he thinks this is the most important election. Well, it is not. This is the worst election we ever have. This is the election where everybody has to stay home because there is nobody to choose from. You cannot vote for Biden because Biden is not running the country. You cannot run the country. When Biden ran before, nobody likes him because he's a, a seasoned liar, a seasoned politician, a seasoned criminal. So Biden does not deserve a vote. Trump is a crook, so there is nobody to vote for. The next paragraph, it is clear that crooked 
Joe Biden. Imagine a man running for the presidency telling you that the current president is crooked. But why he is crooked and is capitalizing it the world without qualification. And the far left are the true threat our democracy. Periods with no qualification, no explanation. You know that the true threat of our democracy is an ignorant man like Trump. Like somebody said, the problem with Trump is a bad character. On every dimension, on every human dimension, a lot of people already described why he is a bad character. It's not just because he cheated with his wife. He's an immature man with no principles. Next paragraph. Under the watch of the most corrupt, again, so he described Biden as corrupt and he is the most corrupt and incompetent president ever. That is Trump talking about Joe Biden. The Biden Democrats are trying to throw this political opponent in prison. The Department of Justice targeting Catholic and the concerned parents. Why is he stressing Catholics? When he was the president, he was targeting everybody. Muslims, migrants, until now he, is, he describes the immigrants as criminals, mental patients, bad people. Trump never had a friend. He attacks everybody and he thinks he is a supreme human being. He is better than everybody else. When you are a president of a country, you are supposed to love and respect every resident of this country. Like Obama said, you are the custodian of the country. That is why he is in trouble, because he has no friend. And the tons of deadly drugs and the millions of illegal immigrants are invading our country from all over the world. Well, immigration is a problem everywhere because of wars. When you make weapons, now we have war in Ukraine. That there is no reason to have war in Ukraine because America wants to sell weapons. Not because America is advancing democracy, because in America democracy is corrupt. If you think America stands for democracy, why would America sell money to Israel? Israel is not a democracy. Israel is a racist state where 7 million people are protected by civil laws or the Jewish people and 7 million people are not protected at all, are subjected to the military law. Prices of every good and the surface have risen while wages have fallen. Who is telling you that? Trump doesn't buy goods. Trump doesn't know what surfaces humans are using Trump. He never rented a car, he never rented an apartment, he never worked for a living. So he doesn't know the meaning of goods and our democrat run cities are going to hell as crime surges like never before. But everything Trump say never before, we never seen before. Next paragraph. This is the fight for the heart and soul of our country and it is one Republicans must win or we are going to have a country we no longer recognize. Imagine Trump talking about the heart and soul. The only way to win the fight is to elect a Republican president and Congress. That is not the way you convince somebody to vote. That is why I am 100% committed to supporting the RNC and leading our party to nationwide victories in the upcoming elections. But for our party to defeat the powerful and well-funded forces of the far left, I must have Republican grassroots leaders like you, men and women who have done so much to help our party and to grow our American first movement in the best, working alongside me. When Trump met the wife of a woman, a black woman whose husband died in a war, she was a young woman. Instead of offering his condolence and support, he was telling the wife of the man who died in service that her husband signed for for that. She means that he died, he signed for it, so we have nothing to do with you. That is not the way you talk to people. But Trump never lived as a normal person, understand the feelings of common people. He lived an easy life, he become lazy, ignorant, illiterate almost. You look at his entire letter, there is no cause and effect. He accuses Biden for being unable to make two sentences. Yes, Trump does make too many sentences, but they don't make sense. Please take a moment right now to join me in making a hundred percent commitment how many times do you say a hundred percent this is the second time and he make it numerical a hundred percent
to helping elect Republicans from the county courthouse to the White House in the critical 2024 elections by signing and returning the enclosed pledge of support along with your most generous contribution of $35, $50, $50, $100, up to $3,300, or whatever you can afford to the RNC. Your immediate generous support is vital. Our party and all our Republican candidates, especially our presidential nominee, are counting on you to answer my call today. At our party's official presidential nominee, that's Trump, the RNC is the only Republican committee allowed by law to provide substantial direct financial support to my campaign. When you turn over page two, the RNC also works with the state and the local Republican parties to support candidates, register voters, and coordinate campaign efforts, and provide candidates at all levels with a strategic guidance, search pooling, volunteer training, direct financial support, and other vital campaign services they need to win. Whatever you can give today is critical to providing our Republican candidate and the presidential nominee with the resources needed to overcome the billions of dollars crooked Joe's Marxist puppet master will spend to keep control. <laughs> crooked Joe's Marxist puppet master will spend to keep control of the White House. Let me be perfectly clear about what is at stake for our nation our party fails to win back the White House, complete control of Congress, or elect more Republicans at the state and the local levels. Joe Biden, Chuck Schumer, and their far-left overlords will continue to ram their Marxist agenda of more taxes, more spending, more illegal immigrant border crossings, more inflation, more regulations down the American people's throats for four more years. The only way you and I can stop the utter destruction of our borders, our freedoms, and our democracy is to help elect a Republican president and Congress. And he put on the line, text paragraph, if you stand with me today in making a commitment to support the RNC and our party, I am confident Republicans will win back the White House and elect the conservative candidates up and down the ballot committed to putting America first in the 2024 election. So, Will you sit on the sidelines and give Joe Biden and his Democrat cronies four more years in power to continue destroying America? Or will you join me by signing and returning the enclosed pledge of support along with a contribution today? Well, Joe Biden is not going to win, even if they keep putting him on steroids, because you can tell that Joe Biden cannot stand in a discussion, does not answer questions, only reads scripted statements, runs away from any question, and there are every sign that say the man is incoherent. Putting Trump back, Trump is a disaster, he's a dishonest man. I hope you will join me by signing and returning the enclosed pledge of support to the RNC today and please include your most generous contribution again of 35, 50, 100, 250, whatever. whatever you can afford to fully fund the campaign program. All our Republican candidates need to defeat Crooked Joe, the Democrats and the far left in 2020. The future of our nation is in your hands. Working together we will make America great again. Please let me know. If I can count on you and your support of the RNC. The last paragraph. P.S. I am personally asking you to join me and support. Again, he is repeating the same, the same sentence over and over again. So there is nothing new here. Then you have the, a beige, separate beige, doesn't have a date on it. I tell you President Donald J. Trump, CEO, Republican National Committee, and dear ridge of support. That is supposed to be the letter I'm going to sign and send it to him. I stand with you supporting our party's effort to elect a Republican president, Congress and GOB candidates all levels committed to defeating Joe Biden and the Democrats and stopping the far left from 
destroying our country's security, prosperity, and freedom with their Marxist agenda for another four years. I understand how vital the Republican National Committee voters' registration, volunteer training, and get out the vote programs are to helping Republican candidates up and down the ballot run winning campaigns. And as our party's official presidential nominee, I know the RNC is the only Republican organization allowed by federal law to provide substantial direct financial support to your campaign. That is why I pledge to do everything I can to help our party nationwide victories this November. Enclosed is, and that's the money that you send. Contribution to the National Committee are not deductible for federal income, so you have to be out of your buckets. Please make your personal check payable. Here is where he got in trouble. He got this money and he paid Michael Cohen his legal fees to pay for Stormy Daniel to cover up. So they got him in New York for committing a crime using a donation for personal use. And here is where you put your credit card and address and sign it and date it, employer, your national, your email, and send it 